All right, guys, this video contained it's all about Quixel Mega Scan. Yes, because in this video, I'm trying to show you how you can use Quixel Mega Scan assets in your Unreal Engine scenes to create that scene something really realistic. All right, then let's jump into this today's tutorial. So this scene, as you can see, it's just a very simple scene, but with the help of camera angle, depth of field, and some bit of color corrections in Unreal Engine, you can see it seems like a realistic. I know this is not like that realistic, but yes, it seems like a bit realistic. All right, so if I'll press F11, it will get back to its normal view. So first of all, I'll just go to file, new level, and let's make it a empty level, and then just press create, and just press don't save, and that's it. So now we have complete a blank screen over here. So first thing first, we need to create a light setup. So in Windows and over there you can find environment light and mixer. I already shown in previous so many videos on this channel uh, that how we can do these types of things. So first of all, let's create a skylight, atmospheric light and atmospheric atmosphere and a volumetric cloud and a height fog and that's it. So first of all, we need to create a very basic floor where we can generate our pixel assets. So for that, I'm just going to here and you can find a lot of shapes and just let's create a, let's see, a plane. And after that, let's scale this up slightly bigger, just like this. And that's it. And after that, make sure it's the location should be in the axis properly and boom you have done this all right so after that what next to apply some materials i am using quixel mega scan now there's a point if you are using unreal engine older version which i'm pretty sure in these days you guys are not using but for the clarification if in you are using unreal engine 4 or any older version you can't see any Quixel assets inside of this software because previous days you have to install a previous software called Quixel Bridge to import all the assets inside of Unreal Engine but in nowadays you can find out Quixel Mega Scan option over here which is uh, this Quixel Bridge so simply click and it will open a completely new window exactly same like Quixel Bridge separate software now after that you just need to basic signing up and, uh, and find out this simply it's just amazing you can see the bunch of assets over here but the main thing is all the assets are first of all lanite enable maybe few have and few not and these are all assets are completely procedural and it's completely high details and also it's pretty large number of scale of the file size so whenever you download make sure you have a blank space on your you know hard drive so over there you can find called 3D assets. So these are the assets you can use on your scene. And you can find out tons of assets and also they're updating uh, almost uh, every day or every month. So many new assets, a bunch of new assets. You can see these are assets completely realistic because these are all actually real assets. Also you can find this called food separations, baked gods, fruits and nuts and all. So basically, these are the things you can use in your scene. So let's go to the study plant, which is my most favorite option. You can find some different, different plants in different, different categories. So you can find this aquatic and the climber, crop, fern, uh, and then the garden plants. If you want to create a garden scene, you can definitely use this garden plants. You can simply click and you'll find out tons of gardens over here. Okay, and if you click any one of from here, you can find out this window will come up here. And this is like the basic scenes which it will create after using this assets and over there you can find these other related collections which you can really use for this and right now you can find this called the quality what type of quality you really want so if you click here you can find this low quality medium and high quality obviously we want high quality and over there you can find a settings panel this is basically we used for blend materials and if you want to download this simply click the download button and it will start downloading now coming to the surface division you can find out the surface option over there you can find too many materials which you can really apply on your grounds or landscape and all so i have already downloaded free because it still take too much time so if you just go to this local you can find out all your downloaded assets now let me show you how you can import this scene in real engine and you can use that so first of all let me show you how you can import the materials so let's click this and if you click this export nanite so simply click this and it will automatically export into your unreal engine scene let me show you that so if you just minimize this you can find out this make a scan uh, folder will automatically create and inside of this you can find the surface option now there's a point if you can't see double click you can find out like this assets okay so don't worry about that simply click this material instance so that you can only see the specific materials all applied now to apply this material on this ground simply drag and drop but if you are using a landscape you can't use this you have to go to this material properties 
and you can use this option okay so let it be i'm just not focusing on this because i want to show you how you can use all other assets over here so first of all to use the assets you have the same process just go to this option over here now i have this uh, bird of paradise this bunch of trees so simply press add and it will automatically go to your art villages in as usual but in this case you can't see this inside of this surface option you can find out this all in 3d plant now to see and to apply this plant on your scene just turn on this material instance and turn this on static mesh so now you have all static mesh option enable here now my scene my uh, this project setup is already used or based on nanite so i'm just simply select all right click and nanite and you can simply turn on the enable nanite for selected so, so after enable all the nanite scenes let's import so first of all simply drag and drop and you can see it's whoa it's too fast actually and the scene has created the trees and if we notice all the details are pretty realistic you know after that you can simply import these other assets over here just simply drag and drop and in previous time it will take so much time to enable and the reloading and stuff and all but now you can see it's too fast also i have so many other trees content here so simply i'm just showing you how you can use this tree so just drag and drop and just simply go to your specific direction just like this and uh, let's add some camera angles to see how it will look like inside of the camera just select a basic uh, you know direction of this and after that go to here add little sequence and let's see create anything save and take a new camera and now you can see the camera is created over here now go to digital let's see make it to dslr and make it to let's say 85 millimeter or like and let's make it to 85 millimeter and boom you have this and now decrease our maximum focal distance something like this so that we can focus on this now adjust your specific camera angle something like this and right after that let's change the lighting position so some shadows and all just like this so if you find out this tutorial helpful for you please do share on your community please share if you are beginner and your friends are beginner and make sure to subscribe to our this channel world of vfx and if you are a hindi speaking viewer then definitely check out our vfx world which is our older channel okay then bye bye see you very soon in this channel